How you doing out there? This is John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer from beautiful Chandler, Arizona. There's a guy I really like, and I wrote a sonnet in his honor. This is sonnet number 1174. This guy, he's a genius. He's a real artist. His name is Ken Burns. He makes films. He's a great artist. He's a cinematic genius. And that's the name of this sonnet. Ken Burns, a cinematic genius. Ken Burns, a truly, absolutely fantastic cinematic genius. When you see his marvelous work, he has so much to teach us. His Civil War documentary, fabulous. That Civil War documentary he did, it's without parallel. It's that good. It's a fabulous work of art. This Civil War epic is riveting. It's important. It truly is a work of art. People forget, I wish they wouldn't forget, how this country was torn apart by brutal war. Evil forces murdered thousands of fellow Americans violently. American killing American, what was that all about? It was about getting rid of slavery, all right? It was a truly hideous war. Thank God the North won. The Union together, the Union power forever ugly combat, 666,000 dead, the number of the devil, the devil, 666,000 dead murdered Americans. Our republic was preserved heroically. The good guys won, abolishing slavery. Sir Ken Burns and Lady Lynn Novich, they produced a World War II epic that was just great. A seven-part war documentary on PBS in the year 2007. A classic, fantastic. Everyone should make it a point to see Ken Burns' artistic films. All of them. He's got one on baseball. It's fabulous. No one should ever forget America. We almost lost World War II in 1942. America, we had our back to the wall. We could have lost then in 1942. We got caught with our pants down. Okay? We weren't ready, just like we weren't ready when the two towers went down. In 1942, that was a bad year for America. We almost lost World War II. If America had lost World War II, most of us would be dead. We'd be dead now. We'd be dead too. This terrible war was so savage, everybody's forgotten it. We can't forget. Yet, hey, nobody even remembers now. Schools... They no longer teach the great sacrifices endured by our American patriots, our soldiers, our sailors, our airmen. Cruel old missions to forget, forgetting how America has suffered near disaster. It was awful, those wars. My wonderful father-in-law, Captain James Leo Widger, I always love that name, Widger, Widger, Widger. Captain James Leo Widger, in charge of 200 men, my hero, he gallantly faced Rommel in North Africa, leading a company of 200 men of heroes. My fifth grade teacher, Mr. Russell, he was in a Japanese prison camp. He explained to us how he got the huge scar on his forearm from his wrist to his elbow that he got from infection and being slashed by a Japanese bayonet. He suffered a lot in Japanese prison. He, he was really, really skinny. His health was broken, Mr. Russell. And I remember him. And I want him to remember now in his sonnet. He, he suffered so much in that camp. I've known veterans of Okinawa. A terrible battle, Okinawa. Iwo Jima? Awful, awful. All these guys, they're fighting for liberty, for freedom. Saipan, a bloodbath. Guadalcanal, a bloodbath. When they come back, they hated to talk about their gruesome experiences in hell. They thought their memory would be too grisly to even talk about, to even discuss. Saying such ghastly horrors that they've seen would be disbelief. People wouldn't believe it anyway. They'd be disgusted. It's so awful. Freedom is costly. It must be defended with patriots' blood. Some complacent Americans, they let others die. They say, we're not in danger. We're not in danger. We're going to get caught with our pants down again if we're not careful. 
But I'll tell you what, our military is wonderful. we got the strongest military in the world. And here's what you got to remember. They're volunteers. we got to really thank these people that are volunteering. Our, our, our military, they're coming back maimed, scarred, nightmares for life. They wake up screaming. Of course, thousands of them don't come back at all. It's liberty's price. Liberty is very expensive. My good friend, Captain Stanley Blunt, he was 44 months in Vietnam in combat. What a great man he was. He earned the Bronze Star several times, several Silver Stars. He earned the Distinguished Service Cross, which is right below the Medal of Honor. He was in the Army Ranger Parachutist. He was a paratrooper. He's my hero and always has been. A good-looking guy from Canyon City, Colorado. And I'm mentioning this because, hey, he felt when he came back, he was really angry because the Vietnam veterans were treated so badly. He didn't even come back to this country for 15 years. He taught English in Bangkok, Thailand. He finally came back and, and he died last year. And it hurts me. Why? Because all these people, like the, the Ken Burns, his, his cinematic excellence with World War II and the Band of Brothers and all those different beautiful, beautiful movies about heroes, veterans. They volunteered these ones now. We've got to thank our veterans, all of you out there. I'm talking to you veterans, all right? And you got to understand, check out that Civil War documentary. That Americans would actually do that to each other, murdering each other? Yeah. Ken Burns is a genius. Au revoir. Du Gardez-vous pour deux Thank you for listening.